Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate intelligence guide for SCUM 0.9. A lot of you have been asking me how the ampules work and how the modules work and how to increase your intelligence. So we're going to st start right from the beginning. I have got an ultimate abandoned bunker guide where I sh will show you guys how to collect fuses. Okay, and fuses is your main purpose. Um, so during the day, you can come to the bunkers, set off the alarms, try and get a few fuses. And then once you've got about 200 to 1,000 fuses or two 800 fuses, you will be able to come back at night because during the day, you'll have to play a hacking game or have the key card for these first two main doors, okay? But as soon as the sun goes down, I'm just going to set the time here to night time. As soon as the sun goes down, then you won't have to play the hacking game, okay? Now, I'm coming in here with zero stealth. Um, but I would suggest that you level up your stealth to at least medium in-game. But I wanted to come in here with my ultimate bolt for 0 0.9, which is advanced melee, because you can level up archery rifles and handguns very easily. Advanced running, you're going to be doing that a lot until you find a vehicle and after you find a vehicle. Advanced thievery, because it's just so much more powerful than it used to be. Um, it helps you inside the abandoned bunkers as well. And then advanced medical, which is also very, very, very powerful. Okay? So... You can use a 20 pound bow all i suggest is that you um, get two slip-on bow suppressors because that helps you to not make a lot of noise and then about 36 broadhead arrows they go for about 50 dollars each so this is 600 one to 1800 you can get 1800 dollars by collecting two dower swords and selling one of them okay and then you'll be able to come in here. So in the ultimate guide, I showed you how to bomb the fuses. Now I'm coming in here with two, two 800 fuses because we're just focusing on intelligence and I want to take you through the steps. So because I've got no stealth skill, I am um, crouch walking. With medium stealth, you can jog. And with advanced stealth, you can definitely jog, okay? Because you will just make a, a lot less noise. For this test, I have turned off the puppets because I just want to show you that you can do everything without spawning a, a razor, okay? Razors are, will be the main threat for you inside these bunkers. Puppets will be no threat with these arrows, okay? And in the ultimate bunker, uh, in the ultimate bunker guide, I show you how to deal with the razors as well. But we're going to, we, you're going left as soon as you've collected all the fuses that I showed you how to do in the ultimate bunker guide. You're going to go left immediately. You're going to stand still until you make no noise. Open up this gate because this gate will make a noise. Stand still for about three seconds. If you ever hear something in the vents, it's the razor coming towards you. And if you keep making a sound, he will drop down the vent and attack you, okay? So as soon as you hear the vent, stop with whatever you're doing so that he can come your way, not hear anything, and then go away, okay? If you have to imagine it like that. So you're going to go left. Um, then you're going to go left again. The only thing that's going to stop you is a key card, okay? Now you can get key cards... That made a noise as well, so I'm going to stand still. You can get a key card from puppets and or the level one key card. You can get it from puppets, desks, and lockers. Um, but hopefully we're going to get one in the desks. <clears throat> Remember, searching makes noise as well. Okay, so there we found the level one key card that lasts for an hour. And it activates all the doors in this specific bunker on level one so once you've got the key card remember that desk lockers in the sleeping quarters and puppets okay even if it doesn't show me that it makes a noise guys please just be careful every time you make a noise and you can hear the noise stand still 
And then you're just gonna come to the generator room. You're going to hold F to choose the fuse that you wanna put in it. Then you're gonna press F again, and you are here. Basically what you wanna do is power A, B, C, and you wanna to get to level two, okay? So it's A, B, C, because we wanna to get to level two. So there's the generator room going straight. Standing still, making sure I don't make any noise. And I've just gotten used to this, to immerse myself a, a little bit more. You can't really hear the vents clearly. So when you hear something, it stops you from hearing the vents. So I stand still when I when I hear any noise. Even if the door doesn't make a noise, I stand still until I can hear the vents because I need to stop moving as as soon as I hear the vents, okay? Again, stand still until I know I'm not making any noise. Open the gate. There, the razor's in the vents. I'm standing still until I'm sure, you know, that is forgotten about me. Then I'm gonna move on. About three seconds. You can do it five seconds if you wanna be safe. Just going straight down the hall, standing still, making sure my sound meter above my character head, the speaker above my character head shows no blue line. Opening up the door. Even if I'm not making noise, I'm standing still because if if the you know if a razor comes through the vents, the door sound will stop me from hearing the vents. Armory will be in front of you. You're going right here, and then you're going left. Okay going right and then immediately left and what you can do now because you don't need power here what you can do now is you can come to this generator and just switch it off now no one can just get to you because you open up all the doors okay there, you can't put a fuse in here, but you can put the power off. So no one can get to you. You are secure now. They need to have fuses to get to you. This will be this will be very good for a solo player. Okay. Now we go to level two. Stand still until the speaker makes no noise. Open it up. Make sure the razor didn't hear anything move and when you play the game there will be puppets guys i'm just showing you the basics the puppets with this bow and this arrow and the dower sword is no problem at all so you're just going down the stairs There is great loot to be had there in the corner in the black in the black containers, but we are this is an intelligence guide. So we as soon as we come down the stairs, we're coming directly right. You can kill um, anything through the gate. Stand still, make sure I make no noise, open the gate. Razors in the vent clearly. I'm gonna stand still so that if we forgets about me press F spam F spam F and now you're gonna hit and move away hit move away okay two shots to the head he's dead we're gonna use our bandages to heal ourselves because that's the new meta for earning fame so we don't even mind healing ourselves that's how we earn fame And forget the multi forget the multiplier guys uh, i'm doing tests forget the fame that's all i'm saying forget the fame because i'm doing tests where i've increased the fame gain multiplier to 10 okay 
So don't think, what are you doing to get so much fame? Uh, don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. We're just doing, I'm just doing tests in between tests, okay? So, clearly he came. I could have closed the gate immediately, okay? So we know this razor is difficult to ignore. And even though we stood still, he still came down. So a good strategy is to open the door and then maybe go in, then close the door again, okay? Or just fight him. But again, we knew he looked that, we lo knew he looked left. So as soon as you come in, open the door and look this way, because he's going to drop down and look that way. But in any case, there's the stairs. We came through here, we're going left immediately. Crouch walking because we've got no stealth. With medium stealth, I don't even think, that, I don't even think he would have dropped down. But in any case, you guys can just make sure you handle him. Now we need the level two key card. Okay, now the level two key card will be on poppers, will be in the lockers, will be in the desks. But I'm just going to save time now. So I'm going to spawn key card level two. Um, key card location is C3. Okay, so you need a yellow key card for level two, okay? So you can get the yellow key card from a puppet or from um, desks or from the lockers. Then you come here, you open up this door. You put your 800 fuse in here. Now, this is very easy because with my ultimate bunker guide, I wanted you to focus on the depository there and the depository there for insane loot. We're not focusing on the on, on the on the armories or Mr. Brenner. We're just focusing on the medical room. So all we're gonna put on here is you can still put on whatever you want, but I am just going to power A and I'm going to power H. Okay, just A and H. Because this is, an, this is an intelligence guide. Now I'm going to leave the generator room. Go straight ahead of me. Stand still until I make no noise. Open the door. Go right. And then go left. Close the door behind me. There will be puppets in here. Okay. And then here we go. Here is the BCU memory module. Okay. Now, you will get these modules in the bunkers, but they will be empty. So, the most common one that I found is the gray memory module. So if you've got the gray memory module, then you're going to come stand here and you're going, then this is going to be lighted up. Okay. So I just want to get a flashlight here quickly. Okay. So this, see there, uh, it's grayed out. I can't use it because there's already, uh, there's already, um, these have already been charged. Okay. The ampules have got nothing to do with the memory modules. You find the memory modules empty. And then you come here, requires BCU memory module. And then you will, once you upgrade the memory module, you'll get one use. So these are very common to find, but you'll have to come here, go to 16 different bunkers or come back to the same bunker, okay, every now and then because it takes... Um, the game said six hours. Um, uh, Palfi in my community says it looks like 16 hours. But you don't have to worry about how long it takes. On my servers, there's a restart every two hours. So you can just come back every two hours or do it twice, you know, between restarts. So you can stand here, upgrade the memory module just before restart, server restart, then you upgrade the memory module again, and then you do it later. So these for me will take very, very long. Once you've up, once you've done this 16 times, then you can attempt 
to upgrade your intelligence okay by 0 0.5 points now because i've got advanced medical if i right click on this i've got a 75 percent chance to be successful which is quite high you will be successful on average three out of four times but you can get very unlucky so if you don't want to do do all the work of upgrading your module 16 times inside a bunker and risking your life and risking the module because the module has to be on you then rather go to the trader and pay for a guaranteed upgrade you can go to the uh, medical tr medical trader at the traders and he will upgrade your intelligence for you for a price but it will be guaranteed so you don't have to be here to attempt it but we're going to attempt it now and then it will tell you if you're successful or not okay so we failed we got unlucky and that's why i say you can guarantee success at the at the traders now i have found the blue memory modules i haven't found a purple or a gold memory module yet because i play on vanilla loot servers if you play on high loot servers you might find the purple and the gold but i understand that these are very very rare but i have found the blue ones so for me i will i will wait till i get a purple or a gold okay the the this blue one isn't too bad you know i just have to be here four times for a restart and i'll be able to do it like that but i just don't like carrying around the 16 use one on me you know just to upgrade a module module for someone else that's going to kill me at the end of the day so i would personally wait till i have the purple or the gold upgrade my intelligence like that but that's completely up to you guys so once again if you got to try to do the the to fill up this one you can do this as many times as you want but it takes a lot of work to fill up these modules and there we are successful now we are at 3.5 intelligence okay so you can keep on doing that until you're at five intelligence and you can't upgrade your intelligence higher than five with the modules okay you can't go higher than five but it yeah that like that was that was extremely unlucky okay so let's just try and get more modules here mm, module level three level three level three like it's a 75 percent success rate guys but we got unlucky three times so you have to really think about this okay with advanced plus medical that will take your lifetime you get a hundred percent chance but like like i say you will be successful over the long run you will be more successful but if you don't want to take a risk in the short run don't okay just don't so there we were successful three times and this is the max amount that you can level up your intelligence with okay um i'm gonna use it again just to show you guys even if you do this again you can't you can't because you're at the max okay so now after that you can maybe trade these with other players um you know like i don't allow any key card or or raiding equipment trading on my servers but you know you can start trading these if you want um and then the so now you know how to do it you collect those you upgrade them here and then you can when you fold them up you can upgrade your intelligence to five with the modules which have nothing to do with the ampules okay now with the ampules you can upgrade your intelligence temporarily now i just want to get this ampule in my hand here i'll be back now okay so once you've done that the only other way to upgrade your intelligence is temporarily okay so you get these very commonly from the razors and if you drink one of them i'm just going to take off my helmet because you can't drink with the mask or a helmet when you drink the the standard level ones that you get from razors you will upgrade your intelligence by one temporarily 
okay? They say for an hour, but some people say it isn't an hour, but you can always stack it. Like these are very easy to find. So you can drink as many as you want to increase your intelligence by one temporarily and now you go and level up. Now I go and shoot puppets with the bow, you know, two times in the leg, once in the head. Now I go and add planks to my single door blueprint and my wheelbarrow blueprint. Now I go and practice my lock picking or whatever I want to level up, okay? I level up my skills while this is in my system and I can get the first ones very easily. Once you get the blue ones, you can drink the blue one to increase your intelligence by two for one hour okay again some people say it's not an hour um but i will taste that guys for you i will taste that for you guys okay i will drink one and sit in the game for an hour to make sure it lasts an hour or give you the exact time and um, before the video ends and then if you are lucky enough to find the level three this is the max intelligence that you can gain in the game just like eight is the max strength eight is the max intelligence okay i am very curious to see if there will be other drugs that they bring into the game later to boost your constitution and dexterity to eight because we know we can upgrade eight uh, our strength to eight and now we can upgrade our intelligence to eight temporarily so yeah just the constitution and dexterity that you can't boost temporarily to eight so that will be quite exciting you know a lot a lot of options that we have for the future um, but again, it will always ignore the smallest one, okay? So even if you've, even if, it will just, it just override, guys. If you drink a level one to get to six and you drink a level three, it will go to eight. It won't stack. So if you drink, a, like I have drunk, I have drank a level one, a level two, and a level three. But you can see they're going out of my system at the same time. The only way to increase the, le you know, like, when when these run out of my system over a certain like they will disappear and i'll still have the intelligence but after a sheer, certain period of time they will disappear but this does not stack the time that this doesn't increase the time that you have this increased intelligence okay the only way to increase the time of a certain ampule is to get more of those ampules oh, sorry um okay is to drink more of the specific ampule the level one ampule that will increase the time by 30 minutes okay so once you drink an ampule it will last an hour every other ampule drink after that will increase the time by 30 minutes okay so that's it now that you guys know how intelligence works let's see how much does it affect your character okay is it worth it like i started with the character of three intelligence because i follow luthias ultimate guide and i want you know i want to get four i want to spend four million four hundred and forty thousand experience points as soon as i go into the game but what is the difference between three intelligence and eight intelligence when i'm leveling up my skills well let's find out shall we Oh, and guys, just quickly, I, I had eight minutes to do whatever I wanted to do in here. Now, look how easy this is. We can even remove this. We can even remove this if we want to. Okay, so we can come here. And we can remove our fuse. It doesn't have a lot of power left, but I mean... We're not going to leave it for someone else to use, okay? We're not going to make it easy for someone else to get in there. And we, you know, and we could have just switched the power off if we want to. But because this door is open, we don't have need to open it again. That helps a lot with noise. Now we go up to level, up to level one. Just spawned one razor okay and i'm sure with medium medium stealth i don't care if if, if it's just that razor that always spawns okay we can sort out that razor very very easily if you watch my ultimate um abandoned bunker guide 
Can we go up the stairs? not going to make a noise with the gates again because we opened these gates but people can't get in because those security doors were closed and now we go back to this fuse box with our great fuse and we power a b c and remember we came right and left now we go right and left again when we were here we went right and left when we come out we go right and left again now you don't have to play a hacking game and if you came here just when nighttime started you'll still be able to open those last two doors And even if you loot the armory, guys, it's a good idea, you know, to switch the top floor off. Because when you want to run out of here, when bee poop eats little china, you don't want doors in your way. Okay, that's why the thousand, um, the thousand fuse is so important, so that you've got time. No matter what goes wrong, you never want to be stopped by the doors. That's when you die. You won't die if you can open the doors. You will only die if you can't open the doors okay and that's it it's still night time okay it's still night time so both doors are open you can close these doors again if you want but other people are just gonna open it you know but it's up to you you can close them as long as it's night time they will always have power but if you want a clear way to run out of here you do it but again if you don't want people to camp rather close the doors okay just come here at about 10 at night and you'll be fine don't come here at two or three o'clock in the morning because then you risk the sun coming up and then you want when you make a mistake with brenner and you want to run out of here then the doors are blocking you okay so Let's set, let's set the time to the morning. And there's, there the doors close. Okay. Because they've only got power. They've only got power in other times. Okay. So how does, how much difference does the intelligence make? Okay. Well, let's drink two of these just to stack them. Okay, so now our intelligence will be at 8 for quite a while. And let's run a few basic tests. To level up archery, you don't want to use the arrows that I have got at the moment. So you want, you want to get rid of these arrows, put them back at your base or something. This the, You just need these arrows when you come into the abandoned bunker, okay? We shot him once in the leg, twice in the leg, three times in the leg, once in the head. So with eight intelligence, we gained 1,327 XP, okay? With eight intelligence. Now, when it comes to the thievery skill, we can just get a practice board. Or lock picking board and then we can get again get an advanced lock pick item and then we get a red screwdriver okay so we've got advanced lock pick red screwdriver we can crouch down we can put the board here and we can see how much do we get for a basic lock Okay, so for a basic lock, we're getting 270 XP. 
This is on my test server, guys. This is not. This is not um, on a single player. Okay, this is on my test server. So 270 XP with eight intelligence. That's quite a lot. Let's just make sure. I don't think I lockpicked anything, but let's just make sure. 270 XP. Let's do that again. Hmm. 270 XP, guys, for a basic lock with advanced thievery. Okay, so 270. We're at 540. Now let's see a silver. Okay, so for a silver lock, you get 540 is 540. You get double. You get double for a silver lock, okay? So 540 plus 540 is 1,080. Now let's see for a gold lock. Okay, <clears throat> so for a gold lock from 1,080, that is 2,140, ladies and gentlemen. That's 2,140 experience for thievery. So the old days <clears throat> where you only got a set amount for thievery is gone. Okay. So that, that's absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure that's how it's going to work with demolition as well. Okay. So if we spawn in a wire cutter. And we spawn in a practice bomb. Take that in our hands. This usually gives you <clears throat> two fifty. I think. I think it gives you two fifty. We've got no demolition. We've got no demolition skill. Oh, one twenty-five. Okay, so it gives you one uh, one hundred and thirty-five instead of one twenty-eight uh, or one. 125 okay so if we go to our calculator we know that it's usually 125 so 135 divided by 125 equals but like it's adding 10 it's adding 10 to 125 so it's about nine percent guys okay it's about nine percent increase so and our intelligence has increased by five so depending it's dependent on the skill okay clearly you can see there's increase here but as you increase your intelligence as you increase your demolition the difference will become higher okay so for instance just to give you guys an example here Just to give you guys an example here. If I, I'm just going to set God mode here to put a flag down. If I build the flag. It, it makes a major difference, guys, but not at the beginning. Okay, it makes a major difference because 10% of 100 is not a lot. But as soon as you reach advanced, 10% of 10,000 is a lot of XP that you're gaining extra. Okay which makes a major difference and saves you a lot of time. So now I'm just going to set God mode off. False. Okay. So we're going to save the spot because we're going to bring the new character here. So the best way to level up your um, engineering is to start with a single door frame. Okay, God mode is off. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in... I'm just going to spawn in a bunch of planks. Okay, because we're just going to add planks. So plank, 10, 10, 10. Okay, so by just filling this with planks, and of course, okay, the, I don't think the new character is going to... No, I'm going to give the new character a double sword as well. So our intelligence is 8. How much do we get for filling the single door frame from zero experience? Just with planks and the knife. Okay, just the five uses and the one knife use. 
we got 675 experience. Okay, that will increase the higher our experience goes, okay? But that's not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. So uh, so we've tested the thievery, we've tested the demolition, we've tested the bow, and we've tested the engineering. So let's go to a character now with three intelligence and see what we can find out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back with the exact same character, advanced melee, advanced running, advanced thievery, advanced medical. The only difference is we're sitting with three intelligence. We haven't boosted anything, okay? So now I'm going to spawn in that puppet. That's exact same puppet. One. Two. Three. And in the head. Four. Whoa. I need to make sure it's in the head, guys. Okay, that's in the head. And that gave us 1,082. Okay? Now, I will write down in the comments. You guys don't have to remember everything. I will write down the difference in the comments. And the maths geniuses or the people that love their calculators can give us the exact difference and then divide that di difference by five because we had five extra intelligence, okay? And then they will be able to tell you how much more XP you gain per intelligence, okay? I want you guys to, to interact um, with this, okay? And then I'm just going to set the guard mode on again to test the engineering. So I just have to build the flag again because as soon as you create a new character... Your previous character's flag disappears. We're just going to build the flag here. I'm going to put guard mode off. And then there's the planks. So I'm going to build the single door frame. And if I remember correctly, the single door frame gave us 625, I think. 7%. I think it gave us 7% engineering. Only 5%, okay? So, again, I'll write down the numbers. With 18 intelligence, we got like 700 and something. Now, with 3 intelligence, we're only getting 400 and something, okay? So, definitely, ma definitely, makes, definitely makes a difference. Um, and again, you won't be able to get to 8 intelligence guys. Like, if you start with my, with my build and you want to build a base, you want to get to advanced engineering fast so you won't be able to upgrade your intelligence and get the level three ampule before you want to start building your base but you still want to know how much you still want to know if it makes a difference and how much difference each point of intelligence makes because then you can still farm those level one and level two ampules from the razors and drink them when you're doing this Okay, because it will save you time over the long run, which is the main purpose of this video. Is it worth it for me? Not is it worth it for everyone, is it worth it for me? Okay, do I think it's worth upgrading my intelligence for this reason? Okay, and then we've got the we've got the lock picking board here somewhere. So, yeah, 270 for a bronze. That will definitely not be the same. I really believe this will not be the same. But it will be close. So, let's start with the basic. The basic gave us 270. So, let's see. Okay. Instead of 270, we're getting 220. Math geniuses. You can figure out that. Remember, the difference is five intelligence. So I think it's almost eight XP extra per intelligence or seven XP extra per intelligence. Okay. Um, and now we're going to... Now we're going to do the silver. Which, if I'm correct, if I'm correct, it will double it again. So we will get... We will be on 440 after the silver.
Okay, we did the silver. 220 times 2. Oh, it doubles it. Yeah, yeah, sorry, guys. It doubles it. Okay, so 220 times 2. And then the gold. Okay, and for the gold, we were on 660. So that gives us 240 left over 1,760, guys. 1,760. So most of the people leveling up the thievery will be very, very happy that this value isn't fixed. And I'm sure with the wire cutting, we're going to get 125. Or maybe not. They have changed things. So let's see. One hundred and ten. That's a twenty-five difference, ladies and gentlemen. Only a hundred and ten. That's a twenty-five difference. But percentage-wise, no, I don't know if it's percentage-wise. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot. Instead of one ten, you're getting one thirty-five. And as you guys can see, as you're gonna level up, you're gonna earn even more. Okay, so for me, it's worth it. Every little bit, if whatever I've got, I'm going to drink it. Whenever I can upgrade my intelligence, I'm going to upgrade my intelligence. Okay, so if this helped you guys, do me a favor and click that like button. And if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, click the subscribe button because... This is what I'm passionate about, teaching you guys and then having a heck of a lot of fun. Love all you guys. Have a great day. See you in tonight, in tonight's stream. In the, in the description, you'll see my stream schedule. And if you want to support me and help me do this full time, Patreon link is down below as well. Love all of you. Cheers.